welcome to a tutorial with Crafty Craft. This tutorial is how to do a faded ombre effect on wood. We're going to use an acrylic water-based stain to do this. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the stain and use the stain to make the faded ombre effect. Um, to do this, you need to start with, we're going to do three colors. I've done four. I've done a fire type look, which was a whole lot of fun to do a fire pit sign um, that faded from like a yellow to an orange, red to brown. So I used four in that ombre effect, um, which you can definitely do. Um, in this case, I'm going to use three. We're going to do a skyline effect, working from, you know, darkest to lightest. So you can see my three different choices here. Um, you're also going to need an empty glass, a glass with water in it, and water to have to the side. Also, I always handy, I use plastic gloves to protect my hands, and also always a paper towel. So these are the supplies I have. I'm going to start with my empty cup and my lightest color that I would like to use on my piece of wood. I'm also going to decide, looking at your grains of wood, whether you want to go sideways, or up and down, and in this case, I'm gonna choose an up and down effect. So, using your cup, we're gonna go ahead and put in some acrylic paint, just throw it up to fill the bottom of your cup. If you received one of my do-at-home tutorials, your acrylic paints have already been mixed. And as we go through the steps, uh, you will just add in the different steps of coloring. So, I'll guide us through that as we're going also. So to make your own, you're going to do, put the paint in, just the amount we showed before. We're going to add some water, the amount of water right here, stir. So what we are looking for as far as a consistency is like a, a drip, I'm not sure. It's, it's pretty watery. Um, wood is very porous, and especially when it comes to acrylic paint, which is not very water-based, it um, really kind of sucks all the color in and doesn't allow you the room to blend colors very well when you don't add this water base to it. So starting here, I like to hold my wood up a little bit just because we're working on a faded effect. We're gonna start at the top and work quickly long strokes back and forth. Okay, so you can see this fun effect. Now if your wood has a different grain or amount of porous to it, then you'll find you might have to do more than one coat. So make sure you are getting your sides and also your back depending on your that you're working on and people are going to see the back. So I'm kind of just sloppy about it, which is why I recommend the gloves to protect yourself because let's see, pretty messy already. Um, okay, so we're going to go further down with this light blue than we actually want it to go because in the end, we're looking for a fade. So we've got the light blue all around. Just put a little bit on the top here. And mine careful to my edges because, you know, we're not too concerned with how perfect everything looks right now because we're about to add fade to it. You always want to kind of mind, mind your edges. Um, okay, so now I'm going to add in my second layer of color. Not as much as the first, but a good squeeze in there. And then we're going to add just a little bit of water mix that up. If it's not quite the color change you want, please feel free to add in a little bit more color. I mean, this is your art, however you want. I want mine just a little bit darker. And if you're using one of my take-home kits, then you will just be adding in your second cup of pre-mix. So this is just about the amount darker I want. Always feel free to test it. But see, just a little bit darker. So we're gonna 
start there. We're gonna fade up and then we're gonna work our way down with color two. So up and then down. Same thing, a little bit further down than you would normally want to go into for your third color. Don't worry too much if you can see a line right now because we still are going to work on the fade. And I really like to hold it up because it allows my colors to just naturally drip down anything that's extra, which helps with the fade. Okay, so minding my edges. I'm liking the way the fade looks on the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this last step, which I'm gonna add in some green into mine. Okay, and I'm pretty watery, so I'm just gonna mix it and see if I like my color. I can always use the water or a white if I wanted to, if I needed to lighten it up. But I like that green effect there, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll with that one. And in this case, I'm gonna kind of work from the bottom up as we're fading in. Lighter touches of your brush will put less color on there. Remember your edges. And don't worry about perfection right now because we're still going to give it that fun ombre effect in just a second here. So, again, working from the bottom, I'm kind of just working it up into it. Feeling for you to kind of savor it all. And then I'm going to flip it over and make sure I get that back. <clears throat> Pardon me, that back side there. I'm gonna flip it over and make sure. Okay, so then I've got it where you can see all the colors on all the sides. So I'm gonna take that clear glass of water, kind of rinse off my brush, and we're going to tap, tap. That's it, right? Working from the bottom, start blending up with just water. So the water is actually what's going to give you that final ombre gold blend. I don't actually have to start from the bottom apparently. See I'm all over the place here, but I think the most important thing is the long strokes because the wood will absorb it. So that's it. And the wood absorbs super fast, so you're gonna see how quick this actually dries. You're gonna be pretty shocked and amazed. So, here we go. That's how I do a faded ombre effect on my wood using an acrylic um, water-based paint that I just create myself.